Hello everyone, it's Nancy Amato, the Be More Stamper. Welcome, welcome. I know I am usually live on Saturdays at 3, but we had a team shoebox swap yesterday. And I planned to be on last night and then we lost our power. So <laughs> here we are, Sunday night, almost 9 p.m., finally getting around to it. But that is okay. I did want to get this done for you this week. I know I probably won't have too many people joining me live and that is fine because this is not my normal, my normal time. But I did want to show you how to make this fun fold card and it is not that hard at all. Okay. It looks like it's hard, but it really isn't. So here we go. I'm going to show you the pieces that we need. This is a nice card also because it will stand up um, for display. So let's get started with the pieces that we need. For our card base, this time we're using basic white. The first piece that you need is cut at seven and one quarter by five and a half and then it is scored actually this way <laughs> at the four and one quarter okay so that folds over just like that and actually that is this piece right at the back here okay so we're gonna be stamping our sending hugs right here on this smaller portion from this fold line okay so we'll get to that in a minute so the first piece is again five and a half by seven and one quarter and then scored right here at four and one quarter okay that's piece number one piece number two is six and three quarters by five and a half and we are going to score this and I've already done it but we're going to bring up the paper trimmer and score once again we are going to score this at a half inch and I'm just going to redo it okay half inch then move it over to the left then the next one is going to be at one and one half inches. And again, we're using the lighter blade here. That is our score blade. One and one half. Slide it over to two and a half. Score it again. And the last one is three and a half. Okay, so this is actually the top piece of this card. And also what is going to make this little box that we have right here to put this card together okay so again this piece is six and three quarters five by five and a half and you're gonna score here at a half one and a half two and a half and three and a half alrighty so that's our second piece our designer series paper that we're using to decorate this card is part of one of my favorites, the Delightfully Eclectic 12 by 12. And if you have an annual catalog, it is on page 129 at the bottom. It's a mega pack of paper and it is so awesome. I love it. 48 sheets instead of 12. Okay, so that is the paper we're using. So we're going to cut this first panel for the front is the daisy, and this is going to be five and one quarter by three inches. All right, that's our first piece. Our second piece, I just did the little polka dots that coordinate with it. And this one is three quarters inches wide by five and a quarter inches long. And then the final piece right over here that we're going to decorate this panel is two and three quarters by five and one quarter. Alrighty, so let me remove all these little sticky notes and we can get started our stamping 
and die cutting. We need to die cut that feel better soon. But let's do our stamping real quickly first. I'm just going to take off all my little notes here. And let's grab a bone folder so we can make all of these score lines nice and crisp. Now this is the page with all of those four score lines. So we're gonna fold those over. They are all gonna go in the same direction so we can kind of make that box. So there's the half inch score line. Here is the one and one half inch score line. The two and a half inch score line. And then the three and a half inch score line. So you can see how this is going to form all the way around there to make that little column, okay? So let's get this one. This is our five and a half by seven and a quarter. And let's just burnish this score line at four and one quarter. And again, we are gonna stamp our greeting on the smaller half of this because this is what it's going to look like once we put it together, all right? So I pulled a greeting right out of the layering leaves stamp set again. I'm finishing this up. Um, I'm gonna choose a different stamp set <laughs> for next week to use. But here is the sending hugs. You could also do a thinking of you as a get well, or even a for you or just a hello, okay? So this is a get well card this time. So I'm gonna open up my crushed curry ink and we are going to use sending hugs. Because this is a photopolymer, I'm just gonna put my piercing mat underneath. It helps me get a really nice clean image on my stamp when I'm using the photopolymers. And those are the stamps you can see right through like a window. So I'm inking this up. I love using these stamps because I can see exactly where I'm placing them. And more often than not, I can actually stamp them straight because I can see right through them. Not all the time. I'm not, not telling you that's all the time, but more often than not, right? Alrighty, so I can put this aside. Let me see if I have my scrubby handy. It's been a big, busy stamping weekend. So I have all kinds of stuff sitting around my desk. Hopefully we won't have a craft a lunch during this. All right, so we are finished stamping. We can put that aside. I'm gonna put this aside. Let's bring in our mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, and let's do some die cutting for this Feel Better Soon for these dies. Now these dies are part of a die set that is called Want It To Say. And I wanted to show these to you in the catalog because they're sort of like a hidden gem. <laughs> I think they're a hidden gem at least. Let me find my, my little post-it note here. Okay, so they're on page 167 at the bottom. And you can see you have the greetings and then you have the bubbles. I call them the bubbles. They're slightly larger than the greetings. And that is how you can get this look. I love this with the greetings on top of a coordinating color bubble. Don't you? I just, I, I don't know. I love it. So this set is $39 and it has your two kind, happy birthday, feel better soon. That's what we're using today. And then celebrate. And then extra dies. You have a stem and with so, two leaves, a flower, some hearts, some stars, a bow, and this rectangle is actually has little indentations in it. So it looks like a gift wrapped box. Okay, I can show you what that looks like when we're finished this because we use that today for um, a Zoom stamping class that I had. So I can show that to you after we finish our project today. Alrighty, so we have our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to use plate one and plate two, and I'm gonna do the bubble first. So that is gonna be in our white. This is the die that is the bubble. 
And then this is the die. You can see all the detail. In this die, this will be the crushed curry words. So I am just going to lay that right on top there. Put my plate number two on top once again. And just crank it through. Okay. There we go. Let me get that out the other side. We can lift this up. And then there is our little bubble for the words. Alrighty, that's that. We can move this over into the recycling bin. And you may have these little pieces left from inside of the words. You just scrape those off. Now we're going to use this die. This is the detailed die with the words feel better soon. So I'm gonna just put that right on top of our crushed curry, finish that sandwich with another plate number two, and then just crank that on through. Okay, if you have a bigger Stampin' Cut Emboss machine, you can do both of these at once. But I just felt like getting out my mini today and using that, and I, it just took me two times to crank through, which is no big deal. There we are, so that's our leftover piece. And then we can use some tweezers to lift these up and then poke out anything that might just still be stuck in there. It's already cut, it's just kinda stuck in there for a second. Alrighty, so then here are our words. Feel better soon, okay? So they are over there. I can put this away. Let me just put this on the floor next to me because that's how I craft. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, some sort of explosion. <laughs> hey, Pam. Hi, Liz. Thanks for joining me tonight. It's been a busy, busy weekend and I'm finally getting around to doing my Facebook Live, but I didn't want to let the time go by and not get it done. All righty. So we are going to need some tear tape adhesive, all right, for this project, because this box, you want to make sure that this box is not going to fall apart, all righty? So we are going to keep this one here like that, just push that to the side, and this is our piece that where we're going to make the box. So the first part that you wanna put some tear tape adhesive on is just this first little tab here from this score line, first half inch score line to the edge. And I just use one strip, that's more than enough. And I try to aim it so that it's closer to the half inch score line than it is to the edge. Okay, so here I have my tear tape adhesive. And I'm just going to peel that off. Run that right along there and tear it off. Okay, so you can see that one line of the tear tape adhesive right there. Okay, first thing first, we're going to make our box. So, we're going to do this the easier way. <laughs> we are going to now open this part of the card up so that the tear tape adhesive is facing your table. Okay, that is the easiest way to do it. We are going to fold on that one and a half inch score line. So, what we have here is this is the half inch score line and the one and a half inch score line are here. We are going to take off the wax paper from this tear and tape adhesive and then just fold over this card and press it into the adhesive for it to stick. Okay, so we have the half inch mark and we're folded on the one and a half. I'm just going to remove this wax paper here to expose that adhesive. Now I'm gonna fold this down, and this is on the three and a half inch 
score line. And when we press that, what we're gonna have when we open it up is this part of the card, okay? And we can see this little tower right here. This is the easiest way to line all of this up. Alrighty? Okay. So another helpful hint is this tower is going to go over here. So I like just making a little X <laughs> right there so I know where I'm aiming. I'm not aiming over this side. I'm gonna be aiming over this side. And what we are going to do is put tear and tape adhesive on this part of the step and lay it straight down, okay? So when we look at this, this almost looks like, <laughs> to me, this almost looks like the packaging, like from um, a tube of Benadryl or something like that at the pharmacy. You know, they'll have the hole right there and then the little tube and this is the hang part. Okay, so let's think of it that way. Our surface that's facing us right here, right here, that is what we are going to attach. So I'm gonna put a little X right there so I know where to put my tear tape adhesive, okay? So this time I'm gonna put two lines of it and I'm gonna put them sort of close to this top score line and then this middle score line right here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna just move that a little closer to me. You can tell I'm somebody that when I get a mosquito bite, <laughs> I need Benadryl because if I'm making cards and I'm thinking, oh, this looks like the packaging from Benadryl cream, that's just not a normal thing that most people think, is it? But that's okay. I, no one has called me normal, so <laughs> we're, we're all good. <laughs> Alrighty, so you can see where I put the tear tape adhesive on these two areas of this front part here of this box. And we're gonna match up our X's. I'm not going to take off the wax paper just yet. I'm going to tell you we're going to build this just like this. So the easiest way to do this is smash this down, okay? So here is our tear tape adhesive. This is a fold edge. We can just peel off that wax paper. There's one. And let's grab the second one real quickly. And there's two. And now we're going to flip this one over like a pancake. This is the X and then this is the X. So what we're going to do is line this up, this fold edge right here. We're lining up to the cut edge of our bottom part of our card. And then we're also going to line it up in the top and the bottom. So I like to just get it into the position first before I really press it down because Tear and tape adhesive is very strong and that's what we want for this card so it doesn't fall apart. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And then once I press that down, when I lift this up, then we have the card, okay? So now all we need to do now is do the decorations, alrighty? So we can keep this down flat. This is the front of the card. And this is where we are going to put our designer series paper here with these daisies. Okay. So for this, I'm just gonna use my liquid glue. Now you could also flip it over and do the lemons as well. <laughs> if somebody, you know, is, is um, has lemons and is making lemonade out of a bad situation, right? So that would also work. But I'm just gonna use some of my liquid glue right here. And then this is gonna go on the front and it has an even border all the way around. It's a quarter inch smaller than this front panel of the card. So you can just eyeball it and wiggle that paper right into place. 
Okay, our next piece is going to be right here on the spine of the card. So I am just going to put some of our wet glue on there and then line that up as well. And I'm gonna to try to make sure I'm lining up the top part of the designer series paper and the bottom part. Alrighty. So there is that piece. And the last piece is gonna be the polka dots again. That is going to go on the inside flap. That's gonna go right here. And the easiest way to get this flat is actually flip this over like a pancake and put this right here. Okay, and we're just gonna look at that border all the way around once again. Okay, so now that is all stuck together. Now let's bring in, I need to grab my silicone sheet real quickly and we're going to just layer these words right onto the bubble. Now if you would like you could always put adhesive sheets on um, the back of the cardstock before you die cut it but I personally need a little time to get this right into position. So what I like to use is um, a two-way glue pen. Stampin' Up! no longer sells a two-way glue pen, but you can find these um, online or in other stores as well. So I jokingly call it my bootleg glue pen because <laughs> it's no longer a Stampin' Up! product, but I loved these things and it really helps me get things lined up right where I want them because it is a liquid glue. So it gives me a little um, time to line it up and also a little wiggle room as well. So I just tap this down and now I'm going to just lift it up with my reverse tweezers here and I'm just going to hold that and get that out of the way. And now I can just use my tweezers to hold this to minimize my fingers getting sticky and ruining this. There we go. And then once I like where it is, I can just tap it on down. Okay, and it will stick. And the nice thing about these adhesive sheets is the glue will not stick to it. You can actually, once the glue is dry, you can just peel it off or you can just take it to your sink and just run water on it and it will be nice and clean again for another time. Alrighty, so here is our greeting that we're going to put on the front. And I haven't used any dimensionals yet, so I've got to get out. <laughs> I'm gonna get out some mini dimensionals this time out of my drawer. And I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on the back of here because I love popping things up. Just gonna use my fingers this time. There we go, put two there, and we'll put two right here, and then let's do one down at the bottom just to hold that stable. And now we can, I am gonna use my tweezers just to pull off. I have a take your pick tool, but I had it packed up for an event yesterday and I haven't unpacked it yet, so I need to get that back out here on my table. Alrighty. So now we can just pick this up and put this right here. I'm putting it a little, um, little north of center, if that makes sense. There we go. Okay, so that is this fun fold card. It is um, an idea that I saw um, from Susan Campfield, fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator Susan Campfield. So thank you so much for this idea. And I believe she called it a book jacket card. I believe that's what um, she decided to call it. So that is all for this week. Um, I actually will not be back next week. It is my nephew's birthday. 
So I will be celebrating his birthday with him on Saturday, but I will be live on Sunday at 3. Okay, so instead of Saturday at 3, it'll be Sunday at 3 um, next weekend. Lots of birthdays coming up in my family in the next few weeks. So I may be a little bit, little bit off kilter here with the schedule. But thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, bonus days end on Monday. So every order of $50 or more before tax and shipping earns a $5 bonus day coupon. So if you have any questions about that, um, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you. So thanks so much, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and then have a great week ahead. And go make a card for somebody. I know they would appreciate it. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.